goodness, my friends, I just noticed something today. As you can see, my Steam is downloading something, and when I looked over, it said, could this be the Alpha? And then I look over in the recent news, and sure enough, Alpha 6.0 is here, out now, today, it says. Hi, Galactic Survivalists. Are we there yet? Yes, we are. Ilion Game Studio proudly presents the update that has seen the longest development cycle and the highest content and feature count in a single major update we have ever worked on in the alpha stage Imperion, wow exciting stuff guys I'm still going to be releasing um, the previous version on my channel for some time to come into the summer but it's still going to be as relevant as, and as entertaining I hope as this but wow I was not expecting that I was looking to make a video here today and it works out I guess it's meant to be it's fate. All right, well here it is, 50% downloaded. All right, so here it is my friends. The game is downloaded, the patch is ready to go. Let's see what Alpha 6.0 has to offer. Already I'm noticing a difference here in the font. Still has the same sound and general feel, but the font is a little different. The background is different also, right? I don't even remember what the last one was, but it's not this. It looks a little different. Um, my first impression of it is I like it. It's nice and round and touched up. Um, I And it's just me. This is an OCD thing, but I don't like how it's sort of off-center compared to the star here. But, you yeah, know, little things. Anyway, enough nitpicking. Let's Let's go through this. So... Every time there's a major update or anytime I start a new game, I always go through all the options to make sure that I've covered everything. This may have reset my graphics for all I know, so it's a good thing to go through. Multiplayer, I'm not going to be covering on this video, but I am going to be looking at options, which we'll do right now. So my graphics look like they're the same. I've turned my shadows off in Sky Reflection because it saves me some frames and allows me to run smoothly at uh, 60 FPS, but everything else is uh, maxed out. Oh, and, and Reflections as well. But that, lo that all looks the same, and uh, audio looks the same, controls. There may be some new things here in the controls, I don't know. I'm not going to go through every single one of them though, but just at a glance. I'm not seeing anything different, but then again, I'm going over it pretty quick, so. And then miscellaneous background darkening. Adjust the amount of darkening when opening a window. Hmm. Might have to experiment with that and see what I like. Units of temperature, I'm going to go with Celsius because I'm Canadian. Uh, EAC, sure. I don't plan on cheating, but in case I get the urge to, there you go. <laughs> I can't. But, yeah, why why even play the game if you're going to cheat, really? So that is the options, my friends. Let's go to the player setup and see. So we've got uh, Hipster Joe here from the previous season of uh, my EGS Let's Play. I think for this video and for the next season of my EGS Let's Play, I think I'm going to change my character here. I almost wanted to go female for a second, but I, I don't think I'm ready for that. And they look a little weird. It's a, <laughs> I don't want to make a joke character, you know? I want to have, like, semi-serious. Like, Hipster Joe, that, that's just... That's just... I mean, come on. Come on. What is that? Is that an ape? Like, seriously, I mean, I don't mean to offend anyone that would happen to look that way, but, you know, like, come on, come on, <laughs> come on, <laughs> if that's not a joke face, I don't know what is, it almost makes me want to go with it, but <laughs> every time I see it, no, I, you can't, you just can't take that seriously, there's the male equivalent of it as well, but, oh, I can't even look at it, like, it's, it's disturbing me. Yeah, look at that. That's, uh, that's just weird. It's just weird. The eyebrows are not right. So, I want to go with something, you know, 
somewhat realistic here. Let's see what we can come up with. Hmm. Nice afro. Oh, that's right. Different uh, body types. I forgot about that. So last time I went with a hero. Maybe this time I'll go average or... You know what? I know exactly what I'm going to do. Along the lines of semi-serious, semi-joking, um, I'm going to bring back a character from way back. If you watch my channel, you might remember this character from the Dragon Age days. Um, yeah, <laughs> This is Q. Q-Ball. Q-Ball is back in the house. So, and his colors were gray and white, as I recall. He's, he's white, white as can be, white as a sheet. He has no hair, but if he did, it would be also white. And um, his main colors are white. And his secondary color is gray. So let's go with uh, maybe like a medium gray. Looks a little ridiculous, but <laughs> at the same time, I kind of like it. Maybe a little bit darker on the gray. I don't know what that's going to do, but we'll see. Eh, actually, no, that, that does improve it significantly. So let's go with a darker gray. Something like that. Eh, right about there. Yeah, looks cool. All right. Um, so hairstyle's good. Face is not good. So Q actually might be able to pull off this face. Let's see. Mm, no, because he's supposed to be ugly, but not like oogly oogly. Like he he's just he's just not an attractive guy. He's got big features of all the parts on his face, but not necessarily like that. So kind of like that actually. You know, he's not uh, grotesque. Well, actually, he was pretty grotesque. He was very grotesque. That um that's not grotesque, but. That is. <laughs> so maybe I should go with that. Now, without spending any more time on character creation here, my friends, I think this is actually the closest to Q that I can get. And, yeah, I'm happy with that. Alright, let's start up a new game here, because we're not doing any multiplayer. So, and then resume game, there's no game to resume. So, there are different scenarios in the game. As you'll recall from one of my previous videos, or if you're just current with this kind of stuff, wow, they really spiced it up and added some nice screenshots here, and looks good. All right, so let's start with default. So this is the default scenario for single player, and if I haven't already said it, um, I'm just going to kind of do an overview of everything, all the new things that I come across, you know, from my own uh, standpoint, and uh, we might touch on some things, some comparisons from one game to the other. I'm um, just doing a really high level overview of uh, the game and the changes that I'm perceiving. So I just want to get that out there. But scenario, we've got default. We have Dawn of Galaxy, default multiplayer, Invader versus Defender. And that's it. So for default, let's start here. So let's go ahead and uh, name the game. It's going to be... Let's see. My neighbor is driving with his door open. I guess that's what we're going to call it. Door open. That's uh, slightly concerning. Alright. Um, okay. Game mode. Survival. Creative. And survival. So there's only two modes there, which is fine. I mean, what else would you really want? A hardcore mode, actually. No, that's true. A hardcore mode would be nice. As far as a seed goes, um, so for seed, I'm not sure what the seed is that's here. 756491, is that from a previous video? I'm not sure. But um, I'm going to put in something, something random. Something random. Something random. Hmm. 726366. Random. There it is. Or I could have just hit the random button, but that's no fun. Difficulty settings. Custom. 
Um, yes, I probably set this up last time I did. I played this. Uh, yeah, and I just erased it. <laughs> cancel. Oh no, it didn't. It didn't cancel it. Okay, well let's start this over then. I like me a hard difficulty. However, I don't like wasting time. So, if hard means spending a lot of hours grinding at something, then I'd like to turn that setting, not off, but to an easier setting, right? To make my time uh, better spent. But as far as like enemy difficulty, of course, it's gonna be on hard. Um, the ores as well, it was sort of a pain, but not to have less. So I'm, I'm probably going to keep that at uh, the hardest difficulty as well. But let's see. Let's go through them here. So for hard, you start off with very little uh, equipment here. I don't remember exactly what, but it's just enough to let you survive um, if you're smart about it. Player progression, slow. This is the leveling system influences the speed of XP gain and thus player progression so that didn't bother me at all I got to level 20 within a reasonable amount of time I think within a week of uh, on and off playing so it's not too bad it gives you something to look forward to and build up on as well so it's fun degradation speed uh, fast influences the speed of degradation when using weapons and tools um, I mean that's that's one that's kind of in the in the in the middle. It's it's on the border. It's um, hmm. Let me think about that one for a second. Influences the speed of degradation when using weapons and tools. Do I do I am I concerned with that being a factor? How much time is that going to waste? Is what I should be asking myself. So imagine yourself drilling away, and your your drill is constantly getting used up is it a big deal to have several drills on you or or rather than drills um, charges I suspect is what they've continued to use so is it a big deal to use a lot of charges I think not because I always had plenty of charges and if I didn't I could make some so this also though you have to ensure that you're mining efficiently at all times uh, as far as temperature and radiation, yes. So these, these are new elements to the game. Temperature and radiation impact. Influences the impact of temperature and radiation on the player. So this is this is set to high, and uh, I know nothing of temperatures and radiation as far as uh, Imperion goes, because I've never been exposed to this. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, but amount of ore per deposit... I'm going to leave it at high, by the way. Amount of ore per deposit is poor and that didn't bother me too much last time uh, not to the point where it was like wasting a lot of time number of deposits few I don't remember what I put that to last time but if it was crazy maybe yeah, I probably would have changed this because increases the average number of deposits per planet only affects new games or playable so I, I would have seen myself yeah because Last season, on one of the first episodes, I was having a hard time finding anything. I was just walking for what felt like days uh, in one direction, trying to find any mineral, and it was really hard. So maybe here we set the this to normal. Since I don't want to be walking forever to find just iron or whatever I need. So let's go normal on the number of deposits, but the amount per deposit is going to remain poor. So there'll be less per, but a normal amount of, of each. So overall drone presence, high. Um, that, I think, was an issue, but not to the point where I was getting attacked too much. Now drone base attack, that I had set to medium, but then I believe I regretted it because I wasn't getting attacked at all. So influences the difficulty of the drone base attacks. Number of waves, number of drones per wave, etc. Well, as I recall on medium, I think it was, yeah, medium, I got attacked a couple of times, and then that was it. So I'm wondering if we should set this to hard. I mean, in a way, the drones are just bringing you materials to work with. So if I can get set up really early on in the game, 
That might be the way to go. Yeah, so I'll have to be careful when I drop down a core here and finally set up a base because then I'll immediately get attacked. All right, well, am I going to regret this? I don't want to have to restart a bunch of times like last time, so maybe I'll set this to medium again. You'll, we'll still get attacked, and hopefully they've tweaked it so we, we get attacked um, just a little bit less than on hard. Because that's where I want it to be. Anyway, rate of NPC spawn was at high. Enemy difficulty hard. Is that the hardest setting? Yes. This is the highest. Yes. Constructor craft speed slow. Whatever. I, I mean... That's another one that's kind of just wasting time for nothing. But... How that becomes difficult, uh, how that translates into difficulty, uh, I sort of disagree with. Yeah, the, I'm going to change this, guys. I'm going to set this to normal as well. For the simple fact that having a slower constructor speed, in my opinion, doesn't translate to difficulty level. Like, I don't know. Difficulty as in you're having a harder time progressing uh, in general, but... To me, that's just a waste of time. Whereas an, a difficult enemy might hurt you more. You'll use more, you know, med packs. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I digress. But that to say that I'm going to go with normal for those reasons. That uh, I want to. I don't want to be waiting around for nothing just to craft a simple item. As far as blueprint production speed goes, I'll it's kind of the same concept here. If I want to do a blueprint and it's going to take forever. You know what, I'm going to set that one to normal as well, and I'll tell you why. I don't think I'm going to be doing any blueprints, so this is not even going to matter. So it doesn't matter what I set it to. Anyway, I've got one, two, three things set to normal. Everything else is pretty much hard mode, so let's make it happen. Got a good seed, good random seed. Starting location. Um, Aqua, Omicron, Ningus, Maspron, Aqua. All right, so the standard planets here. I'm sure they'll add more as well as time goes. But I'm going to start off... I know it's cheesy, but... I think I'm going to start off on Aqua so I can just experience the whole game for myself, once again, from scratch. And we'll visit every planet. That, that won't be a problem. I'd like to actually do all the quests and capture all that as well. So, setting the bar fairly high for this season, guys. That is the goal. Anyway, as far as the other scenarios go, um, maybe I'll cover that in another video or in another series because I don't want to change what I've set up here and it might erase it. But you saw uh, what I showed earlier in the video here, um, the different scenarios that we have to work with and play with now in the game, which is just awesome. I can't wait to dive into that. Uh, I'm sure the community as well will come up with all kinds of amazing scenarios that we can play. And uh, they'll have those to download on the workshop. So you can see at the bottom left here, workshop, you can publish scenario, cannot publish stock scenario, of course not. But if you made your own scenario, then you could publish it to the workshop, which is amazing. I love games that, that let the community decide hands-on how the game develops in a way. You know, it's, you have to have that because if you don't have that, people are just going to start hacking the game and getting all kinds of uh, third-party mods going, and you, you don't want to have to do stuff like that. Anyway, before we get even more off-topic, my friends, let me finish what we're seeing here on the, on the page, and then we'll actually get into our game. And then next episode, we're actually going to start... Um, soon as, <laughs> as soon as we start off, we're going to have to be immediately... Uh, yeah... We're going to have to be on the go immediately. I might actually take some time for the rest of this video and just think of how to how to do that. But here's what we're up against. Um, of course, Aqua, as you know, is an easy planet to survive on. Breathable atmosphere. A human, human origin, which they've added here. Aqua is a temperate planet with vast oceans, volcanic islands, and large continents with mountain ranges. It has a breathable atmosphere. The average temperature is 23, 23 degrees Celsius, and gravity amounts to 0 0.84 Gs. You start off with and in an escape pod, and with all the goodies in the escape pod. Actually, we're going to start off with significantly less because of our custom difficulty here. 
but the type of planet if you didn't know it's temperate there's the G's again it's gonna be a minimum of 10 degrees 35 degrees Celsius uh, the rate there's no radiation which is good the weather can be clear partly cloudy mostly cloudy cloudy foggy windy uh, medium rain heavy rain storm so yeah weather has been added now to the game that is a new thing the density if you didn't know is 1.05 kilograms per meter wow I'm really going into this aren't I uh, O2 content is uh, uh, breathable uh, so 20% oxygen in our atmosphere, and yes, it is breathable. And the mode is PVE, which is my favorite of modes. On this planet, we have access to iron, cobalt, copper, silicon, promethium, magnesium, and once those things deplete, we'll get meteorites of iron, cobalt, and no random meteorites. So there you have it. So that is that, my friends. Uh, as I said, it's going to be a very top-level uh, overview here for now with the alpha. I'm sure they'll be coming out with updates. Hopefully there'll be no wipes or anything like that. But I'm going to get started here on, on this next season and uh, join me again for the second episode when we actually hit start here and get into the world and start having us some fun. So until then my friends, thanks for joining me and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.